Hey Capricorn, this is Nikki with Nikki Tarot Unfiltered. I hope that everybody is doing well um, out there. I came to bring you guys your Monday general read um, for, yeah. I see some energy here, Cap, okay? Um, I see, it's almost like from rags to riches, okay? Um, like, some shit happened in my past, but you know what? It's all good now. That That's, I'm loving this energy, okay? Um, I'm loving this new energy. I, I will say that. But anyway, before we start, let me thank my new subscribers, you guys. Capricorn, thank you so much for supporting this channel um, with the contributions that you've made with your subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Um, if it had not been for you, it would not be a channel. You guys have been wonderful to me. Thank you so much. Um, and if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, I invite you now to subscribe. That is the very best way that you can help this channel, okay, and contribute to this channel. Um, if you guys would like to know any information about me, that would be in the about box. Um, and remember, this is a general read for the sun sign of Capricorn. Also, check your ascendant, your descendant, your Venus, and your Mars, and that might resonate as well, okay, you guys? So anyway, it is Monday, you guys. You guys should have this by Monday, okay? So Capricorn and Tuesday... Capricorn and Tauruses is on Tuesday, okay? Um, I did do a community um, a post. Gemini and Aquarius is on Tuesday. Virgo and Libra is on Thursday. No, excuse me, Wednesday. And Aries and Pisces is on um, Thursday. All 12 signs are going to be on Friday. And if you guys want me to do the Nikki Quickies on Friday after I do the all 12 signs, you guys let me know, okay? Because I haven't done the Nikki Quickies in a while, and I don't know if you guys want me to do them or not. But I put it on the community page. So, you know, let me know if you guys want them, I'll do them, all right? So here we go. Overlying energy, okay? I'm not going to get into overlying energy as far as clarifying because it's like obviously it's self-explanatory because I see where things were bad and it went good, okay? So at one point in the game, somebody was very confused. Somebody was very stressed out. Somebody did not know. They had a lot of love, a lot of emotions and everything. They knew it was shit that they couldn't see. They was on guard, okay? Very confused. Somebody worked very, very hard, repetition, repetitiously trying to fool somebody, repeating the cycle and trying to true true in trying to fool somebody this person was authoritative they liked to cause fights there was judgment that was called on this deceptive whole ass always sorry always coming around person okay um there was clarity here somebody got clarity somebody wanted to give a peace offering they came pulled up this was a burden you wanted a new start with somebody else you was tired of the promiscuousness okay all that shit all right so that's basically the sum up, okay, of all the bad shit, all right? All right, so let me grab this other deck because right now I see that in the past energy, you were in the King of Swords. I see King of Swords cut out. Either you were married, okay? You are a Capricorn. You are an earth sign. I don't see any earth other than this Ten of Pentacles and this Hierophant, okay? So I'm not necessarily for sure that you were the one that was married and you decided to give the axe to the situation, because you found out the truth and you were the one that built the wall. You were the one that um, was betrayed or, or and you're the one that's in the family taking care of the kids. Or this could mean work, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify, Cap, because I don't exactly know where you are in this. Because right now, the only thing that I see, Leo is heavy on the board, Aquarius is heavy on the board, and Taurus is heavy on the board, okay? That's what I see. Okay, so Holy Spirit, please tell me. I already shuffled these, you guys. Please tell me about um, the Ten of Swords for Capricorn, please. Ten of Swords. Might have was in the beginning. Hold on. Too many cards in my hand. Ten of Swords. Holy Spirit. Capricorn. Give you all the glory, Lord. Oh. Has something to do with friends and family. Maybe somebody who you had a business relationship with. Possibly third party. Somebody that you looked up as like maybe a business partner, a lover and a business partner all at the same time, okay? 
Could be more than Ten of Swords. Could have been somebody who had sex with a friend of yours. More. But this is more Earth on, this, on the board, y'all. Ten of Swords. Virgo heavy on the board now, okay? You got Virgo, you got Taurus, you got Aquarius, and you got Leo on this board, all right? Look like you spent a lot of time thinking about this, why this happened to you. Give me more. Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit. You laugh this shit off. You didn't want anybody to know that you were really hurt. You went out your way to let people know that you weren't hurt. You wore a smile when you was crying on the inside. More. Ten of Swords. Capricorn. Sometimes the energy don't be right there. Because you thought this person was your comfort and comfortability, you knew that you were settling for less at one point in the game, though. What happened with this Ten of Swords? Somebody blocked you out. Somebody could have ghosted you, okay? Somebody left the building, all right? So tell me about this King of Swords and this Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Something changed. What changed? What changed? More information. Damn, y'all. Something changed for real. You got the world twice. Somebody either traveled, they went away, the cycle ended. More. Court. Somebody got a divorce. This is a marriage. Okay? Somebody got a divorce. That's what I'm feeling more than anything with this higher fit and this justice. Give me more King of Swords. Yeah, somebody free. So I think this is a marriage. Somebody got divorced, y'all. Because of this ultimate betrayal. I still want to know what this betrayal is. I see where the walls have been built. I see where you to spend time thinking about it. I see where you were settling for less. Okay. I see all that. What happened? Why, why, what, what was this Ten of Swords, Holy Spirit? Did somebody get locked up? Was somebody in prison? More? Possibly. Possibly. Somebody went away. Okay, somebody, like the world card came out twice. That's travel, ending cycles, all that, okay? But then I'm looking at this Ten of Swords. I see somebody was settling for less, which which could possibly mean the reason why they just stand for less because maybe they back and forth in jail or maybe they went to jail because they so ADHD. They got all these, you know, as soon as something come up into their brain cells, you know, this is what they do. They move recklessly, okay? King of Swords is in the energy cutting this hierarchy out. Then you got the world twice. Somebody went away. Somebody ended a cycle. Then you got justice. That's court or karma. But you got the fool here. And up underneath the fool, excuse me, right next to the fool, you got a whole wall here that you done built. Then underneath, you got the dang on ten of, ten of pentacles, the star, and the sun. 
So it's like you super happy that you're out of this situation. That's what it looked like to me. Let me see what, why this fool is here. And then we're going to go down here. Holy Spirit, why is this fool here? Apparently because y'all hit a tower. Only reason why he comes. This was a marriage, you guys. This was a marriage, a higher commitment, a union. It's not there no more. You do got a divorce. More. Why is the fool here? Yeah, it's over with. What happened here? Somebody lied. They stole. Somebody in jail for stealing. Somebody in jail for some type of fraud. Okay, some type of somebody's in jail here. Okay, period. It's jail here. There's all jail cards are here. And this fucked up y'all home. But it looked like you kind of happy about that, though. I don't know why, but it do count. All right. Yeah, they ass is in jail. Somebody's in jail. Yeah, like I said, it looked like you happy about that. Wow. Okay. Because you, you, you got the Ten of Cups. Okay. So that it could be somebody that you was all the way in love with, who you thought you had everything with, and they went to jail. Or they went to jail, fucked up you guys' relationship, and you're happy about that. One or the other, okay? But there definitely was an ending here. It was a divorce. Give me the Ten of Pentacles. Could have possibly had kids with that. Yeah, it's over with. This is your home life, y'all. That's death to that. Wow. Okay, somebody done lost somebody here, okay? Death to the situation. Any more information, Holy Spirit, please? This is sad, y'all. I don't see no third parties, though. Person didn't want it to be over. They got the Knight of Pentacles. The reason why they got the Knight of Pentacles of with this death here is because they in jail, y'all. They can't move. They can't move fast enough. When you in jail, you can't move the way you want to move, okay? I and mean, that's what's happening. Tell me about the star. Because you damn sure want healing in a new beginning. Tell me about the star, Holy Spirit. They might not even be jail, in jail for acrobat bam. You, you do. You want look at this. Star is clarified the star. You want a new beginning. You want healing. You want to move on to this situation because you're ready for your happiness. You tired of this motherfucker going to jail. This jail, this person could also be in jail for, for attempted murder. This person can also be in jail for um, murder. This person can also be in jail for um, aggravated assault. It possibly could be domestic violence. It could also be um, robbery of some sort. It can, um, yeah, still in. Give me the star, please. They don't look like they're getting out no time soon, y'all. You're contemplating on which way you want to go to bring your happiness. You also concentrating on your money, Capricorn. Give me the star. Yeah, you ready to take action towards your happiness. You ready to take action towards your new beginning. You want your new life. I don't see you sad about this person being in jail. I don't see you sad about... I, it looked like you were settling for less. It looked like you just betrayed you. It looked like they got karma. And their karma is they locked the fuck up. Because they is locked up. Somebody locked up. Energy is right there. Give me a star. Holy Spirit for Capricorn. Somebody is definitely fucking locked up. And you are definitely in your empress mode. Might be pregnant. Okay? Or you got somebody pregnant or somebody's pregnant up around you, but you abundant. You abundant and you sitting real pretty right now. Give me more. Might got somebody new in your life.
Yeah, you got the energy. I don't want no more bullshit in my life. I don't want no more deceptive person. I don't want nobody that don't know how to be home. I don't want nobody that does shit that they ain't got no business doing. So they end up in jail. You're working. Your money is good. You're working. Hold on. Because you also could be doing something repetitive. So let's just see. Give me some more. Holy Spirit. Capricorn. You're working on patience. That's what you're working on. You're working on having patience. Patience to get what? Patience to get this healing. Okay? Patience to move forward in what you want. Patience for this cycle to change. Yeah. You're being patient with yourself while you make up the decision on which way you want to move. You know you don't want no more deceptive ass people in your life. And you are working. You're working. Your money is looking better. You're moving differently, Capricorn. Yeah, and you know this is the best thing for you to do. You got high priestess on the board. So tell me about this sun. Because that's your last energy. Tell me about the sun with Capricorn. Holy Spirit, please. You're victoriously getting the people out of your life that do not long or serve you. Whoever is not for you is against you, okay? And you're having victory in that. You're having success in that, okay? That is that 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 is what's also bringing you happiness. Is getting these people out of your life that don't benefit you and they're not clapping for you. Give me more. You sitting in your own power. in your own power you may be meeting someone soon you may be meeting an aries okay or have met an aries leo or sagittarius heavy aries any more what is he doing yeah this person you've known for a while though so it's not that you they're, are they, either you know them for a, mat, uh, for a while, they're familiar to you, or they have a familiarity about themselves, okay? But what you love about this person is that this person is very, 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 very for sure of themselves, okay? Very. Hold on, how in the world is my car it's upside down? Give me a second. Uh. They got a familiar air about themselves okay if you haven't known this person from before then you you definitely they're definitely familiar to you and what's attractive um about them to me that it looks like for you is that they sit in their authority okay they're fair they're honest they're trustworthy but they are boss it's just that simple okay give me more about the sun holy spirit for capricorn Yeah, there's love here. This part, if you haven't met this person, you will meet this person. Okay? This person will bring you ultimate happiness. This person could also be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You got the Queen of Cups coming up. That's love, y'all. That means she love and she ready for shit to go in her direction. So this is victorious right here. Okay? Let me show you this. This right here is victory. Whew. So, like I said, rags to riches. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said in the beginning. Rags to riches. Because that's exactly what the fuck this is. You went from having a no good motherfucker to the best of the motherfucking best. Happiest card in the deck. Victoriously. Like I said, this might be an Aries you meet. This could be a Sagittarius or Leo as well, but more Aries, okay? This person is either familiar to you or they got a familiarity to you, okay? There's love here. This is the queen of cups. What is she doing? Wants shit to go in the right direction. Okay? Yeah. Rags to riches. 
Somebody in jail, though. Give me a little bit more on this outcome with the sun. Yeah, you're going to actively walk in that direction, period. You ain't willing to think about this shit no more. You're not willing to stay up at night no more thinking about this motherfucker that's jailbound. Ain't no telling when they getting out, y'all. I don't see no getting out cards. Give me, give me. I mean, I ain't dug up into the energy, but I'm just saying, I I don't see, you know. Yeah, it's death to you stressing, period. You're done with that shit. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not staying up at night. I'm not tripping off of you. I don't give a fuck if you call. I'm not answering my phone. All that shit, okay? Death to that shit. You have done the most playing, okay? Period. Go find you somebody else to play with. Well, I don't know how they're going to find them somebody else to play with y'all because they is in jail, but I'm just saying. That's possible, okay? It's possible. Give me a little bit more. Capricorn, one more. Holy Spirit. Yeah, you're no longer, no longer going for no bullshit, period. The King of Swords right back in my energy. What is he cutting out? This is it, y'all. What? It, and then I'm going to end this. What is he cutting out? Empty-ass promises. Empty-ass promises. That's what he's cutting out. Empty-ass promises. Ideas that's going fucking nowhere. Okay? All right. So, let me give you an edification card. Taurus. I mean, not Taurus. Capricorn. I hate when I do that. But I think this is the first time I did that in this video. Cap, I'm sorry. I don't like calling y'all different names. But I can't redo this video. This is a 21-minute video, and it ain't no way. So... What was I about to say? I forgot what I was about to call y'all. But whatever I was about to call y'all, let it resonate. Because that could be the individual who we talking about. Okay? Holy Spirit. Give me a card for Capricorn that resonates with your highest good. For Capricorn. Tower, unplug and relax for a spell. Been through a lot. Been through a lot, y'all. And this lady is upside down, okay? This lady is upside down, and she's relaxing upside down on the wall. Take your time. Relax. Find you a comfortable position and understand you need to unplug. Unplug for all of the madness. And relax. Okay, relax. Because you've been through a lot. Of, you've been through a lot. And I can see you have. I can see you have, okay? So, yeah, that's what Holy Spirit wants me to tell you, okay? And Capricorn, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I will see you, um, what, if Monday, right? Yeah, Monday. On Mondays. Okay? So, until then, hi, Capricorn. <laughs>